hello students so this class we just see the week number 9 problem number 4 a cone a cone base 50 mm diameter and height 65 mm rest with this base on hp a sectional plane perpendicular to vp so the cone it's cut by perpendicular plane in vp so inclined at 30 degree to hp and bisects the axis so said exactly at the center it is bisects of the cone draw the development of the lateral surface since it is a cone so the radial line development just going to draw this radial line development method okay and so uh, the important point here so the section position is a important point so let us finish the simple position first to make the radial line development since the axis height is 65 I didn't draw this one. I'm just checking. So we need this much distance. That's what. Okay. So here I just going to draw lateral surfaces. I think this is okay. so the circle is 25 mm radius 50 mm diameter okay so my scale okay fine so this is a circle let us divide the circle in the eight equal parts so i used to divide in the style can adopt your own style 45 yeah fine now let us select a vertical line and connect with the apex so this you know so let us give a uh, rotations a b c d e f g h so point h here of is here since it is a imaginary line so let us name a dash b dash h dash c dash g dash d dash f dash and e dash so let us uh, this length is nothing but 65 and this one is 50 mm 
you should not show mm and all for your reference i am showing so this a dash to o dash a dash to o dash is a true length only and b dash to o dash h dash to o dash c dash to o dash g dash to o dash and similarly other side all are apparent length apparent slanting projectors we used to call projectors this line this line is a slanting projector here it could not be the equal because it is going from here to here but when you are seeing from this direction this edge and this edge gives the clear length of the cone okay so now they are specifying to cut 30 degree to hp bisect the axis so bisect the axis in the sense this is 65 65 divided by 2 is 32.5 almost here it will bisect at this point I just draw the imaginary line here 30 degree okay it will bisect like this okay that's it now we just give the numerals so here top 1 dash 2 dash at the center we could say 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 7 8 so we just got 8 numbers of point let us finish the radial development let us choose one point that is O so from here we just draw one line anywhere you can draw so let us this distance o to a we need to check this must be a true length of the slanting edge it is almost this distance okay so this distance let us check it is almost 69 is coming let us keep o as a center 69 as the radius Sixty nine of the radius, but we don't know how where to end this one. That is uh, easily you could able to find by a formula. This O dash to A dash is sixty nine, almost sixty nine point five, and the angle theta, it's nothing but R divided by L into three sixty degree. So R is twenty five divided by L is 69.5 into 360 may be the included angle of that cone so this one let us check mm, 25 divided by 69.5 into 360 so almost it is giving 129.5 129.5 using degree 1 degree ok okay it is giving 129.5 so the included angle supposed to be 129.5 how will you mark this okay if you are keeping here like this so it is started from 0 and 120 is here 129.5 must be here so the draw the line extend this arc this total angle is 129.5 degree okay 
so now we have uh, developed complete cone okay we just developed a complete cone but this angles to be divided in a eight equal parts okay this how we can divide in a eight equal parts in the sense a to b you can measure and then you can divide there is a one way So A to B let, let us measure, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, since it is in arc slightly it is more uh, that area we just suggest. So A to B, so otherwise you can uh, identify the length is nothing but uh, 50 50 pi pi divided by 8 so it is 19.6 you need to mark 19.6 you need to mark almost I have done okay it's 19.5 or 6 I have this model so almost okay so slightly 1 mm 2 mm okay it's not an issue you just make it perfect 19.6 and connect everything once you connected you can say a b c d e f g h again a okay uh, now so we need this distance from apex so a dash where it is so for that we need to take one axis line and we need to extend this line i just extend in different color so that you can understand see i just extended Okay, see here you can say this is 2 dash, this is 7 dash and 3 dash and where it is in the 6 is there, 3, 3 and 6, sorry, 3 and 6, 7 is here, 1, 2, 2 is here and 4, 4 you can either the side you can go, 4 and 6. So you are not getting I think. So any direction you can say. See I have marked here 4, 3, 6, 2, 1. Because this is a true length. This is a true length. That we just going to transfer from here to there. So for example you see. I just measured 1. 1. Where and all it is applied. 1 you see. O to 1. I just transferred here in A. 1 and these two sides so these two are one nothing but one okay similarly two from here only you need to measure from here only you need to measure this is a slanting edge it is not correct you know Two is here. Obviously, eight. Where it's come? Eight will, will will come here. Similarly, six and three. Six will come here. Sorry, three will come there. Six and come here. Similarly, four and six. See 4 and 6. I just measured and I just transferred. So now what about 5? Where is 5? 5 is here. Directly we can measure. Because it is in the true length. Directly we can measure 5. Because it is in the true length.
so I got all the points this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 again 1 just connect by a smooth curve so this complete diagram this the lower portion so a to 1 a 1 1 a this entire things is a complete development of the cone okay complete development of the cone okay that's it so the data you need to write here 69.5 since it is a radial line so the edges are same it's not like a square that's it thanks